Just saying. On the way to softball, baseball, it's like baseball, but it's not really t-ball, but it's kind of t-ball. It's this... It's a step up from... T-ball. It's what Jared's playing this year, and we're going to go watch him. This is his second game. He really likes it. I've never been a baseball fan. I played lacrosse and football when I was younger. Don't really know much about baseball. Maybe that means I have to revoke my man card because it's like America's pastime or whatever, but just never have been a big fan. But he's my son. If it makes him happy, I'm going to support it and go and rah rah sis boom ba and all that. So that's where we're going. Baseball game complete. It was a nice day. It was like in the high 60s, sunny. Yeah, we're not going home. We're, we're outside. Go. You really can't complain about that. Did you have there. fun, Jared? Yep. So we don't know what's going on the rest of the day. Could go to maybe go to Home Depot. There's a closet I need to clean out. Yeah, I mean, there's like a there's a honey do list as long as my arms. So we'll we'll figure Mommy, something out. It's, I have an idea. Can't ever have a so day of month. conversation. Allison, do you want to go to Home Depot with me? No. I've already taken my pants off. True story or not, babe? Sweats on. What does that have to do with if I don't... If The girls will understand. It's like taking your bra off. Won't you do it? That's it. It makes no sense to me. No, uh, well, what, I mean, the pants came off. They could go back on just as quickly. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. It doesn't. Doesn't make any sense to me. So we're upstairs cleaning out a closet that we never use. That's in the bonus room for camera gear. Right now, I keep it all downstairs in a closet that is shared by the kids like linens, like towels and stuff, and it's just crowded. Uh, I don't have room for everything. Of course, after I was up here five minutes, the kids came up, which now turned us into a sleeping bag party, obviously, and they're making a bigger mess. That's because he wanted me to come up here. If I'm here, kids are here. That's the way it goes. Tell. Things always get way worse before they get better. It's a freaking hot mess in here right now. We ran into this when we took all the clothes out. It's a strange panel in the middle of the wall. I, I don't know what it's for. 
I don't know if it's an access panel to something or I don't know. So I don't know if I can put a shelf in front of it because I don't know if I need to be able to get into it. So, although I have lived here for almost 10 years and never had to get into it, so I doubt it. But there's some screws in it. I'm going to take them out and see what the hell it is because I don't know what it is. <laughs> access to the top of the house for some I don't know it's a weird attic ish access the better idea is to show um the viewers what it looks like <laughs> yeah oh jeez I got sneezes I think you guys see that it's like a it's like an attic that floor looks the, okay, this place just, in here, it just looks creepy. How could such a thing be ready. in a picture frame? Leave it, leave it in the comments below. Get ready. Yep. So, so, yeah, attic access, fairly boring. Would have been really cool if that was like a secret access to a safe that the previous owners had we didn't <laughs> know about or a vault of some... Could have been cool, so because it was straight Indiana Jones shit. Could have been happening, like tarantulas. Big boulders running. Gold statues. But it was just attic and dust. Eh. All right, guys. Sometime later, and I did not film it all because it's too tight in there. The closet's done. All the stuff's up and I need to start organizing. All cleaned out. This is actually a spice rack from Home Depot, but it's like five inches wide and like 70 inches tall or something like that. And it was perfect. You can see lenses just fit right in there. And that is more lenses than I will ever probably have. Plus it's you know good size for a little small whatnots. Left uh, the back open for tall things. And then I've got several shelves here for stuff. I got these liners uh, they sell for these wire shelves so that stuff doesn't fall through. Uh, and they're kind of clear so light still comes through them so it doesn't get dark on the shelf below it. They're kind of bubbled up right now but uh, I think after they sit for a while they were in a roll. So I think after they sit for a while, I think they'll be just fine. It's a small walk-in, but I think it'll work fine for my camera gear. And it'll get it organized and up and out of the way. And that's one project down. A lot better than being crowded in that little bitty old closet I had downstairs. So now I got left to do is, uh, well right now I gotta take a shower because I'm gonna be late if I don't hurry up and get ready. I got to go to that tattoo appointment. So in the car. I get that itch about once a year where I've just got to go and get a little something something. And I've been meaning to get Allison's initial tattooed on my finger for a while. Tattoo Sunday. I don't know. I, I don't really think that's a thing, but just, yeah, hashtag Tattoo Sunday.
Andy has been tattooing me for like 50 years. 55. 55. How long have you been tattooing me? It's been at least 12 years. Easy. I started in 02. At least, at least a decade, if not longer. Point is, when you get a good tattoo artist, stick with them. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a lot of guys out there that will f*** you up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that new? That's a little icon. What is that? It's a power supply. That looks awfully fancy, Randy. Yeah. It's the 420 model. Oh, the 420. Oh, 420. Hence the green. Hence the green. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, it's very nice. All right, all done and out. Looks kind of gross right now because it's all bleeding and stuff. He covered it up, but I always unwrap those things like the second I come out. That wrapping they put on it drives me nuts. That was probably the quickest tattoo I've ever gotten. It took like 15 minutes. But I have to say it was actually kind of pleasant because normally when I go it's like a three hour suck fest because I mean whoever, I don't care what anybody tells you. I mean I've got a ton of tattoos and I don't mind them, I deal with it. But if anybody says that shit doesn't suck, they're liars because getting tattooed is not fun. It was actually kind of pleasant to not have to suffer through uh, four hours of getting drilled on. It's like 15 minutes. Shot the shit with Randy, caught up with my, my buddy. It was good seeing Randy, man. He, Like I said, he's been tattooing me for years. I mean, at least, I'd have to really sit down and figure out when the first time he tattooed me was, but it's been at least 10, 12 years. So, I mean, he's like a buddy. You know what I mean? That guy's like family at this point. If you're ever in Jacksonville, by the way, go by their tattoo uh, studio. It's On Point Inc. in Jacksonville, Florida. Him and his buddy, uh, Kyle, is the other owner. And uh, they're great guys, and they're both really, really talented artists. So, um, yeah, if you're ever in the area, swing by and check them out. Yeah, so if Allison ever decides to leave me now, I got problems. I'll have an A on my knuckle. So if she leaves me, I'll have to think of uh, a word that has A as the third letter. <laughs> Although I, I'm more than positive that's never going to happen, or I would have never gotten it done because uh, me and Allison have been together forever. She's my bud. She's my best friend, and I do not see me and her having any issues. I am done for the day. I'm going back to the house. It's been beautiful. I will see you happy people very soon. <laughs> a big deal. That's a big deal. Alright, there you go. Put that in there. Okay.